Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a video with a difference. I am going to be doing a rehousing of uh, one of my spiders, but first of all, I'm going to build the enclosure so you can see what the quality is like on these Timu, Timu enclosures. Now, I do use these quite a lot. I think I've got about 14 of them, 15, but some are better than others. Um, the magnetic ones I find the best, but these ones do work as well. So, before we do anything, let's get cracking and get this video enclosure done. So, right guys, got all the attachments here, all the little bands. The only part I don't use, because I've got no idea what it's for, and that's these pieces, I've got two of these, so no idea what them are for. So I've never used them. Um, the rest of it, I always use. Good thing with these, they do come with spare bands, which is uh, awesome, so really happy about that. Now, you'll see that the sides here do have the little holes, so you know that's going to be towards the back for one of the lids. So. We'll get the back and the bottom started first. So they just slot into place like that. Then we put a rubber band on. So let's get that one rubber band on it. So there's rubber band number one. Rubber band number two. So now you've got your bottom and your side. So the next one we're going to do is the front, which is nice and clear. I do like these enclosures and I do use quite a lot of them. So we're going to just slot these into place. So that's that one slotted in. Then you've got that one slotted in. Get your first band on, don't matter where you put it on, as long as you get it on. So, I'm gonna try and turn it over so you can see. Right, I'm gonna put my first band on there, so that holds that in place. Second band, I'm going to put just there, so that's that one in place. Third band, just there. That's that one inside in place. That one there. And then we're going to put the bottom ones on here. So there and there. So that's a couple of the sides, on, so you can see how it is. Now these are. Uh, 20 by 20 by 25 enclosures which I do find pretty uh, cool especially for your smaller uh, arboreals that are, are growing uh, next one I'm going to do is put this side piece on so you need to stop these in uh, hold on let's get it right yeah there so uh, we need to slot these in place. Uh, that's that one on. Uh, same again, just put your bands on. One. Two. Three. Four. Then you do your two bottom ones, five, 
and six. So now you can see it starting to take shape. So that's that one done. Now I am going to be reusing straight into this when it's done. So all good now. This piece is your back piece. So what we need to do is get these slide in. This one you may have to just mess around a little bit with to get it in place because you've got to get the back in and then just lift these up a touch so you can get your other pieces in. Don't be too rough with it, you don't want them breaking. So that's just all clipped into place. So now it's just a case of putting the bands on. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then just check you got bands all round. So, Just this side. Right, one, two, three, four, and two at the bottom. Now they're all ready like two. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, this side. There we go. One, two. So that's all your sides on. And the next thing to do is get the lid on, which is here. Now you have got two little slots on these. Be careful not to break them because if you break them, they won't be usable. So just put that in. Slide that over. So that's slotted in place now. That's the lid on. Now the piece that you need to do next is for the front. So what you need to do is get this sorted, which is Now this is the enclosure where you've got to put like the little screw piece in when I can grab hold of it. So it comes with like a little screw which is there and then that goes through this hole and through the lid so that goes there. When you've done that put it through the lid, open it carefully. comes open this seem don't seem to I wanna I think we'll now there you go then you get your like, little knot which is really fiddly you screw that onto this little screw uh, once you've got that tightened up which is just there, tighten that up. Then you've got your piece for going over. Now that should go in there and stop it coming out. Uh, hopefully, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Uh, just undo it to open it. Right, now we've done that, we're gonna get this spider rehoused. So this is where the fun begins. So I need a piece of cork bark and the spider, whatever she is. Right. Put all them spare bits to one side. Like I say guys, I do prefer the magnetic ones of these, but these do work 
uh, you can't pick and choose you have to have what you get when you get it uh, first thing we're going to do is get some substrate in I am going to do it pretty deep because she does a lot of climbing. So that's that emptied. Right. That's the spider. Now, I'm just going to get some cork bark. Which is, which is right there. I just hope I've got pieces in there that are going to be long enough. Don't know what there is. Uh, I need to try and find some longer lengths. Uh, that one can go in for starters. Uh, you've got some up to go on. Just push that down a bit. Now she does spend most of the time drilled, uh, drilled, uh, buried. So, but even saying that, I still want to try and give her some that she has got to climb on if she wants to climb. I'm just having a quick look for I might put a little rock in there. Because I've got a little rock, what I had off Pete. And, and this is the little rock that I had off him. And if you look carefully there, it's a little man climbing up the rock. <laughs> so I might put that in with her as well. That can go there. Some, some straight around it. No, there's another thin piece part there for her. So that can go there. And then I might put a little bit of planting. What about that? Uh, no. Well, no, because she can grab as long as I can close the enclosure, which is alright. And Yeah, we'll do it so the flat part goes that way and you can see a bit more really. I'll see. Now, see if there's a bit of greenery in there for her. Because you can make some more webbing up out of that. If I can get it cut off. Uh, my scissors there, man. And then you can pull, cut these. And she's got some mesh. Yeah, I'll use that blade. These scissors are in there? I'll use that blade. I should cut it. substrate a bit like that around that rock uh, have a bit of leaf litter to put in put that um, the rock there and then that rock can hold it in place hold it in well oh, oh. I thought it could have break down one too much so we're going to need to try and get this sorted so in. Right. There we go. Uh, sprinkle some leaf litter in. Okay, so 
some leafy tummy. Um, we need a water bowl, which is in that one, isn't it? Which is in. Let's put this in. Flash. Yeah. No, you know they're mossy water bowls. Yeah, in that bag. Them spider shop ones. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for that. I want it. Yeah. Right. Right, so far, boys, mm. that's how it's looking. So, I hope she. Cause like this new enclosure. At the moment, she's in half, which you can see is a lot smaller. She ain't got so much room. But I think it's time she did have room. <clears throat> and I just put a water bowl in. Check that. That's okay. Uh, water molly. Get us some water in there. Uh, that's the water in. Now he's to get the spider out. So yeah, this is the uh, Thai Golden Fringe, which is the Audio Tibia Tibia Tibialis. I can see her down there in her hole. So I'm gonna see if we can attempt it to come out. And it don't look like uh, she wants to play ball. But we'll see. She's still small really. Probably too small for this enclosure. But I just want to make sure that she's got room. So, I don't think she's in there. Get all these dregs out and her old cork bark. See if we can see her. So I'm going to just pull this bit out because I think she could be underneath here. It's just breaking up as I'm fishing it out. So. Having a look for her. I know she's not in this lot. I have found a water dish which we'd lost. Uh, break this up bit by bit. Yeah. I was getting the paint brush in there. Start pushing this to one side, see where she is. Make some of these dirt off. 
And hopefully, we might come across them. They didn't seem to come across it just yet. So what I think I'm going to do is take this soil. You know, I've got that um, fornelli on there, babe. And I'll yeah. tip this soil in there, <clears throat> just in case she's uh, in this. I'll put that to one side of it and we'll see if we can find this. Little spider. Nothing in there. Now, I'm hoping I'll come across her. I'm hoping that's a little substrate. I was going to say I'm hoping that's not that. No, she's alive. Uh, let's put some of this back in, in case she is in any of this. Yeah, she in there. That's her, look. That's all that little. So, we've found her. So i just got to see if she can apply ball. Come on, little fella, come on out. Let's get you in your new home. And there she is. Good. What a gorgeous little spider. Mm -hmm. Now, I need something. A little pot, which is... If there's one in one of them bags. Yeah. So, I've got a little pot, guys. Don't need that. Thank you. Right, this is absolutely stunning. Sorry. Such such a cute, beautiful spider. Right, come on, little one. Let's have you in there. Come on. In you go. There you go. Very calm indeed. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. Now, yeah. I'm hoping you're going to put your little legs down. Come on, sweetie. No, she don't want to get down, guys, but there she is. What a beautiful spider. Now, I'm not going to try and force her to go in there any bigger. Um, any more, I should say. I'm just going to try and fish her out now. So she can go and make this home. So if I can get her to go on the court park. There she goes. There she goes. What a good little... Good spider. God, she's been no trouble. And there she is. She's in, guys. Yeah. I'm hoping I can show you now while she's on the bark and not scarper. But like I say, she's absolutely gorgeous. And the colours on her legs, unbelievable. So there she is, guys. Just there. 
and what a stunning little spider see if I can move it up for you to see a bit there you go look at her what a beauty so now she's got her new home so what we'll do next is put the lid on put the catch across and then she's got to be left to settle in so I'll just tighten that little screw up a bit before I I'll oh, see because that's the only thing with these things they do have an habit of coming loose so you know, I've got to be careful but the magnetic ones them are just brilliant there she is I see she's just gonna have her labels on now and that's it guys if you did like our video please give her a thumbs up yeah, please do dingling the bell and please do subscribe down there now channel membership is available if you do want to become a channel member just go on my page on youtube click the join button take it from there it's uh 2.99 a month which is good really because you get me right so you're all out guys then see if anyone knows what them what them things are we've got them Team yeah, that's the, that's the thing. If anybody has got any of these Timu enclosures, if you do know what these ones are for, because I can't find out what they are, uh, just give us uh, an idea in the comments. Like I say, I've got no idea what they're for whatsoever. For uh, they've got to be in there for a reason. Mm. So, yeah, just give us a shout in the comments. Mm. Right, that's it guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Do appreciate all your support, all the channel members. Thank you. Couldn't do it without you lot, so thanks very much. Um and I'll see you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye. <laughs>